pleasure to meet you right now, and I am honored to be here on a TED Talk. So today, I will be talking about the unemployment rate in the Philippines. So going back last year, we all know about the current situation around the world and how it has created a huge impact in our society, how it had an effect on our daily routine and created a new normal that once previously didn't exist. This pandemic has caused an economic recession that affected many small businesses and small entrepreneurs to go through financial hardships and eventually fighting for bankruptcy leading to their closure. This is due to the fact that many countries, especially here in the Philippines, closed down their economy because of the rising number of COVID-19 cases during the peak months of July, causing millions of people losing their jobs in the process. It affected those who rely on small businesses to feed their children and other family members. Today, we will be showing the impact and how it has affected many Filipinos who have lost their jobs because of the recession during the pandemic. Um, I have a friend of mine. She has prepared some statistics that will be explained further throughout the event. Let us give her a big round of applause. Wonderful chat. Okay, so here I have a chart of the value of unemployment in the Philippines before and during the pandemic. So according to the National Statistic of the Philippines, the unemployment rates skyrocketed to 17.7% that account, accounts to 7.3 million Filipinos, losing their job at that time at that point in time of the year. This is the same this is the same time the government had strictly enforced the enhanced community quarantine in the whole Metro Manila and modified enhanced community quarantine in other points of the country. Because of this, many small businesses, especially restaurants, were closed that did many Filipinos lay off and become unemployed during the crisis. Because of the high, en ha the high unemployment rate, the gross national product of the Philippines fell by 89.289 US dollar. During the peak times of the crisis, this goes this goes to show many Filipinos were unemployed, resulting their income to be plummeting to all-time low since the last year. So we all know that the lockdown has affected the majority of the Filipino people, especially the local small businesses are greatly impacted by the economic recession. Since the number of the COVID-19 cases in the past months are reduced because of the steps by the local government to further combat or to, to further contain the virus, we are able to open up the economy to further restore the old state of the economy. We must implement the expansionary monetary policy. We must encourage small businesses to buy bonds to the Banco Central ng Pilipinas to recover from all to assess their experience during the lockdown. This can also help them speed up and regrow their businesses. <laughs> Next is to reduce their reserve requirements and give it to the government for they distribute as a subsidy to all unemployed Filipino workers. And also reduce their dis discounts rate to encourage more businessmen and small entities to buy bonds from, from the BSP. Implementing the, the expansionary monetary policy aims to restore the economy that we used to, to have before the recession. It's also, it also aims to, aims to bring back jobs to all working Filipino employees that were previously starving during the lockdown. After the implementation, the BSP can now implement that constructionary monetary policy for them to further recover from, from their losses in stock. 
filling the recovery requirements and to also stab stabilize the amount of money flowing in our growing economy. That is also for my speech. That's all that is all for my speech. I'll be in the stage as well. So in conclusion, we all had a rough time last year. Despite the sudden increase of unemployed Filipinos and the low gross national product last year, the government, together with the BSP, is already prepared and implemented the policy and they are already aware of this situation. So eventually, the number of unemployed Filipinos will continue to drop and will always stay like this for the next few months because of the reopening of our economy. But still, we don't know what's going to happen in the future. Although this is scary to think about, it is much worse when our economy continues to be closed for longer periods of time because this will definitely increase the already 7 million or even 8 million Filipinos without a job. So the government and other sectors are continuing to save other local businessmen to stay in business during those hard times. So the DOLE or the Department of Labor and Employment is in charge with giving financial assistance to businesses struggling to survive. So in the end, the pandemic has caused a lot of problems and hardships in our society. There are lots of solutions that can be used in all of our problems with proper execution and timing so that we can overcome all of them and grow even a bigger economy. But let's remember that in any problem that we're currently facing in these trying times, there's always a light at the end of the tunnel. Because of the pandemic, many Filipinos struggle and lose their job. In spite of all of this, we will rise again and believe in God that we will go back to normal and people in the front lines and to our dear country that I live in, the Philippines. Thank you.